federally within our program in our engineering office and we respond to contractors middle and our five spittles include like the bridge removal demo plan or stormwater prevention solution plan or lead abatement plan or traffic temporary plan so uh, we're we're having working with
elaborate a little bit because we're kind of tight with time. Uh, in terms of the, uh, now they're installing the new water mains that need to be going there. You know, we see the water main uh, pipes stacked there. Can you explain a little something on that to the staples, please? Yeah, what's going on right now is that the Department of Water and Power at the water side is installing uh, brand new mains along Huntington Drive North, Huntington Drive South, along uh, new proposed streets that are going to be constructed once the contractors are able to get in and work. But now what uh, the, water, the water section is doing is they're, they're replacing lines that are that were installed back in the early 1930s. They're old lines, and so they're putting in brand new, uh, larger diameter water lines for the project is scheduled to be done at, during the day and during the night. During the night, we have um, we call out for some of the uh, bridge removal of the work to be done at night, too. That's in the impact on the traffic. Internally, though, we've been discussing that issue of uh, when we do the demolition of the bridge. You know, we don't, we're thinking about the noise impact on that during the night for the residents in that area. So we're talking internally with the DOT how we can maybe do that portion of the demolition, the heavy noise during the day to reduce, to reduce the impact at night. Um, we're talking about uh, the type of equipment that they're going to be using to cause a big jack line. So they're going to start at the deck level, remove the dirt, remove the deck, and then work with the front and the buttons and the buttons. So we're trying to uh, minimize the amount of impact during the night. Thank you. 
have to have the project is finished.
founding member of the Al Torino Veterans Monument Memorial Committee. And I believe uh, with all my contacts and resources in the community, uh, the Cali Tribune to uh, Neighborhood Council will benefit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. George, you also do outstanding work with a good uh, support of the local church right here in El Sereno. Um, you were also, uh, what were you, a knight? Uh, yes, I was the uh, deputy red knight for the Caballero San Colón at Resurrection Church. Yes, yes, sir. So, you know, we have a knight here in the New York County. We'd love to have you here. So you've done a lot of good work for the church, done, done a lot of good work for the newspaper, and you helped me expose a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm more than willing to have one more. Okay. There's no public comment on this. Uh, so, Mr. Johnson, can you go ahead and enable each uh, candidate to read any of the questions? I will go ahead for sake of record keeping to call this 4AI and 4AII. Okay. So, 4AI, we will go with Maria Miranda first. For which region? Okay. Um, we have. Main Street North and South. I think it's South where she lives. She lives in South. 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 Okay. So go South. Okay. So all in favor of Maria Miranda filling the vacant South region position, please signify by raising your hands.
Anderson. Uh, Mr. Contrera. All in favor, signify by raising your hands. Opposed? Abstention. Fucking <coughs> bar, George.